Okay, in this video, I'm going to install the bootstrap into my Vue.js components and then I'm going to render the register route and then login route, right? And with the home page too, right? So let's get started. So first uh, we ended this here. I'm going to remove this uh, uh, hello from here. Rem uh, close this one and close this one too. And here I'm going to create a new route, right? I'm going to create a Vue.js route. Okay, simply paste this route here and add the colon here. I'm going to open the slash, uh, I'm going to build the slash route. So slash route is home page of our application, this one, right? So I'm going to create this slash and here I want to create a home component, right? So let's go here and create first home component home dot view okay and here I'm going to say that I am uh, or just say that home page welcome Okay, and just simply import this so similarly uh, home page at the top and here I'm going to use a uh, home right something like this and I need to mention the same name as I mentioned above here right so now this will open this home page save this one and let's see here and open this page and yes welcome to the Vue.js and Laravel 10 app right so we are successfully able to open the home page now i need to add the bootstrap right so now question arises that where i need to add the bootstrap and how i can add the bootstrap so it's very simple i'm going to use the cdn to uh, add into our application so further you can add your uh, own thing like you want to add the tailwind css so you can add the tailwind too so visit the getbootstrap.com official website and uh, this five uh, five is the latest version of bootstrap so i'm going to use a bootstrap five okay and uh, let's move here and there is a cdn uh, for css and js so i'm going to first add this uh, css cdn and just copy this here and then let's go here and i'm not going to add this into any of the bootstrap any of this Vue.js component i'm going to open my uh, app.blade.php file and here I'm going to add this out right and as I told that here you can also add your own uh, weeds CSS too right so here you can add this array so later on you can add the other resources resources slash CSS slash uh, app.css I think it's app.css so I'm basically referencing this file right app dot css fine okay this is not our topic i'm just i just did this so uh, because it's remaining right okay and after this i'm going to paste my <coughs> sorry guys i'm going to uh, i have pasted my uh, bootstrap css link and after that i'm going to add my js link too right so let's copy this so oh my god let me copy it correctly and paste it down here right so make sure that uh, your script is not creating the conflict otherwise this wouldn't work so make sure your bootstrap version or jquery if you are adding something else right okay now i have added the bootstrap stuff so nothing will be happen right save this one and close this one and now i came to my uh, app dot view and here i'm going to basically uh, build skeleton of my application so i'm um, i need a uh, top nav bar where i will show the register button a login button and home page right so just go ahead and grab the nav bar from here and search this nav bar and yes this one is a nav bar let's copy this nav bar and i want to add this before this router so paste your nav bar here okay just paste your nav bar and align it correctly or make sure or let's add this into the div because we need to add them into the single element otherwise it wouldn't work right so let me identify it properly okay so now our nav bar is added so let's save this one and go back to our application and yes 
top nav bar is added and then this one is also rendering the message from this home page right okay uh, for now uh, let's uh, make this uh, black nav bar right i want to make this bg uh, gray uh, black so let's go down there is a class and property so this one okay so we just copy this bg dark and these things let me copy it correctly okay go back and here add this into the class and then you need to also add this data dismiss theme data bs theme not dismiss okay paste it here and just go back and yes we got the black nav bar right our js is also working fine and if i make this a smaller right so we can check it's that it's responsive right and further you can also check this for the different device sometimes this wouldn't work right you should always check this from this inspect element here this one is a devices option where you can set this for the mobile device and yes it's working fine we'll also set this into the center yes it's working on the different mobile size working on the tablets uh, fine and everything is responsive right so just uh, go here and remove this out and close this terminal perfect so now we are able to add this out and now i want to add my other pages like uh, i want to first add the home page so before this i need a card where i will show my information right let me check the video size it's going a little bit going bigger but i'm going to uh, first implement the card so then we will add the login and register stuff uh, card set this card and there are multiple cards so i am looking for this card right so copy uh, this stuff from here and uh, this one is a nav bar which is coming from the app dot view and i want to add my card here in the home page so first it will load my nav bar and after that it will load my this card right so before this uh, pasting this card i want to add the container and column to adjust this so div dot container and after that i want to say that div dot row and after that row i want to say that to call 12 and to paste your thing here okay it will be like this to make it more structured this one is a card and here i need uh, just save this one and give it a refresh and yes we are able to add this properly right but there is one issue it's so uh, mismatch with this so above nav bar so we need a space between both of them so i'm going to add here a space of margin top with the you can add this into the row or into the column square and yes it's working fine now right so here we will uh, add this home page so if i say that home page and here i'm going to say that remove this special treatment no i don't want to display this i want to say that uh, welcome to the home page right say this and comment this button or even remove this button save this one and yes welcome to the home page and here we will also rename them with the login page and so on things but first we need to build the login pages right so we are successfully able to uh, build the home page and if i visit the about us page right it's also contain this nav bar why because this our application uh, is whenever we are rendering our vue.js application if i go here into the app.js whenever i'm creating my app instances i'm using this app component right this component and then i'm rendering this into my vue.js um, into my laravel application so my uh, whenever i'm visiting any of the route it's using uh, this default to app.view component and then it will use rest of the things and uh, here this one is responsible for navbar and how it's rendering this uh, home component data it's rendering due to this one if you will comment this out this will not render the home page stuff just see and it's gone right if i go here and enable this again so this will appear right about us is appeared 
if I say that same for this one and if I comment this out this home page isn't working right home page isn't showing here so if I save this router view and it's available again right so now you understand that why I have added this router view so basically this router view is rendering this child component into the parent into the parent or a master component right that's is the beauty of this router view and here we don't need to add, add additional styles like uh, it's a uh, top nav bar and something like this so our one parent is handling all of the design stuff and we are just uh, importing our internal components inside to uh, inside the parent this is the way how we design to uh, how we structure those routes and in the next video i'm going to build the uh, login page register page and so on so i'll meet you guys in the next one and if you uh, think that this uh, series is adding values into your life subscribe on the youtube channel and share it with your friends so in this way you will support me on my mission to shoot the premium courses free of cost thank you